Now we're going to tune the Newton. But before we even start, it's very important that the Newton is correctly balanced and that the camera is mounted correctly and fixed. If the camera is not mounted and balanced correctly, we will never achieve the performance that we could achieve. So, looking at the menu system in the Dominion, we will scroll down here until we mark the entire tilt column with the square. And as you can see, we have three columns. We have the tilt, we have the pan, and the roll. Now we have three different settings. We have the P, the I, and the D settings. The P setting is basically the performance, the strength of the Newton. So having it too high will cause the Newton to overreact to, to vibrations. But having a P setting that is too low will instead cause it to uh, not perform as good as it could. The I setting, on the, on the other hand, will help the P setting in the cases where the P setting isn't quite strong enough. And the D setting is what we consider an advanced setting, and it's meant to calm the system down a bit in case you have too much jerkiness in the image. Now, we will start by tuning the tilt axis, and we'll start with turning the P setting up until we have a very high frequency vibration, almost like a buzzing in the tilt motor in the tilt axis. And you can see I'm holding a hand on the motor here so that I can feel when the vibrations start. And in this particular case, we turned the tilt setting, the P setting on the tilt axis up com completely without actually getting any vibration. So what we do then is that we tilt the camera back. And here we can hear and feel some small vibrations, and we can tilt it forward as well. Here we have it. And so once we find these vibrations, we turn the P setting down until they disappear. And now I can feel that they are gone. And just to double check, I will tilt the camera up and down a bit, make sure that we have no vibrations. So that was the P setting for the tilt axis. Now we will keep going with the I setting instead. And it's the same procedure here. We turn it up until we feel vibrations. And the vibrations for the I setting will be a lot higher, a lot larger than the buzzing that we saw with the P setting. So as we turn it up, you can see the camera starting to shake quite a bit here. And you can feel it as well. And so we do the same thing again. We will turn the I setting down until the vibrations disappear from the tilt motor. And again, we will tilt the camera back. And then forward, just to make sure that we have no angles where we have any vibrations. Like this. And we are basically done with tuning the tilt axis. Now, we will move on to the roll axis. And once again, do the same thing. We turn the P setting up until we hear this buzzing sound again. And here we got it, quite loud. We turn it down and keep going down until all of the vibrations have disappeared. And then just like we did with the tilt axis, we will try to roll it a little bit. And you can see that we have no real vibrations. Perfect. Then going up with the eye setting. Until we get these larger vibrations again. Here they come. And we turn it down until they have completely disappeared. And we roll the camera. And here we have some vibrations when we roll it in this direction. So we will turn the eye setting down again. And here we no longer have the vibrations. Now we're moving on to the pan axis. And it's basically the same procedure one more time. We turn the P setting up as far as we can until we have some vibrations. And then turning it down until the vibrations disappear, like this. Then we turn the I setting up once again until we get vibrations, like this. Then turning the I setting down. Now, since we can't really roll into different angles or tilt it with the pan axis, we will simply move the camera a little bit and make sure that it doesn't vibrate unnecessarily. And it feels good. Now we're going to talk a bit about the positional gain. 
the parameter called postgain in the Dominion graphical interface. The postgain setting basically determines how quickly do we return when we are subjected to vibrations. So a higher setting will mean that we will return more quickly in each of the axes. The final thing we need to do is to save the settings onto the Newton. So we push confirm on the Dominion unit and scroll up to save remote. When we push save remote, the settings will be saved onto the Newton system and will be able to be used even if we turn the power off and turn it back on again. Thanks for watching.